Welcome back folks. Today we're going to show you how to make homemade clam chowder. Now, the first thing you do is you need a large stock pot and you need to melt two tablespoons of butter or oil at medium heat. We've done that here already so once that is ready we will saute two cloves of garlic minced one onion diced and three sticks of celery thinly sliced you're gonna saute the veggies until they're soft and we're gonna do this for about five minutes Once that is done, we will now stir in a half a teaspoon of thyme. And you're going to stir this until you get a pregnant smell out of it. You can really smell the seasoning. Next, you whisk in three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And you're going to do this until it's lightly browned and for a minute. Next, we will gradually Whisk in one cup of milk. One cup of vegetable or chicken stock. One cup of clam juice. and one bay leaf. Whisk constantly for a couple minutes until slightly thickened. After it is thickened, we will now stir in two or three potatoes, peeled and diced. Make sure we get it stirred in. Now we are going to turn our heat up and bring it to a boil. Once we bring that to a boil, 
we reduce the heat and simmer until potatoes are tender. We're going to do this for about 12 to 15 minutes. An easy way to tell if the potatoes are done is by poking them with a fork to check the softness of the potatoes. Once that is finished, we will now put in one cup, half and half, And if you're using canned clams, you put in two cans, but we used freshly harvested Oregon mud clams, diced. Making sure we stir it in there. Now once we have it stirred in, we will cook it for about 10 more minutes. We have let it cook for about 10 minutes. Now we will add salt and pepper for taste. Making sure to stir it in. And there you have it, homemade clam chowder. Now if the soup is too thick, add more half and half as needed until desired and your consistency is reached. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time.